This video will show you how to change the position of objects in AutoCAD LT. The commands used to do this are Move and Rotate. Let's start with the Move command. Move is available on the Modify panel of the Home tab. When you begin the command, you're asked to select objects. In this case, I want to move the circle from the left-hand rectangle into the right-hand one. So I select the circle, press the spacebar or enter to end the selection mode, and I'm prompted for a base point. Since I want to use the two rectangles as reference, the first point that I pick will be a point on the left-hand rectangle, in this case, the end point. To finish the command, I will pick the second point, which will be the same corner on the right-hand rectangle. If you don't have an object to use as reference, you can enter the distances yourself. To move the circle outside the rectangle, I start the move command again, select the circle, press the spacebar, and in this case I can pick anywhere in the drawing, for example outside the rectangle. I can move the mouse up to define a direction, and type in the distance that I want to move the circle. The Rotate command rotates objects around a base point. Rotate is also available on the Modify panel of the Home tab. When you begin the command, you're asked to select objects. In this case, I want to rotate this triangle. So I select the triangle and press the spacebar or enter to end the selection mode. Next, I'm asked for a base point, which will identify the center of rotation. For example, I can choose the end point of one of the sides of the triangle. The final prompt is for the rotation angle. You can either type in the angle at the command line or the dynamic prompt, or pick a point with the mouse. If you don't know the exact angle of rotation, you can use the reference option instead. For example, here I have a rotated rectangle. I don't know the angle at which it is rotated, but I want to rotate it so that the long side is horizontal. I will start the rotate command, select the rectangle, and select the bottom corner of the rectangle as my base point. Instead of typing in an angle, though, I will use the dynamic prompt to select Reference and pick two points on the long side of the rectangle. Now, my rotation vector is aligned with that side, and I can use polar tracking to quickly place the rectangle where I want it. The Rotate command also includes a copy option enabling you to create a rotated copy of an object while leaving the original intact. Now you have seen the Move and Rotate commands, which are the two ways to change an object's position. For more information on AutoCAD LT features and commands, please visit the LT homepage at www.autodesk.com slash AutoCAD LT.